Let's okay. talk about journalists. So record number of journalists jailed worldwide. This is wow. Committee to Protect Journalists. Its annual global survey, the Committee to Protect Journalists, found at least 274 journalists in jail in relation to their work on December 1st, 2020, exceeding the high of 272 in 2016. China, which arrested several journalists for their coverage on the pandemic, was the world's worst wow. jailer for second year in a row. It was followed by Turkey, which continued to try journalists free on parole and arrest new ones. Egypt, which went to great lengths, you said Egypt, by the way, yesterday, to keep yeah. custody of journalists not convicted of any crime, and then Saudi Arabia, which the, the, the story doesn't kind of help your story, Zuby, but there you go. <laughs> hey, Saudi arrest is, journalists. not perfect. Okay. Countries where the number of jail journalists rose significantly include Belarus, where mass protests have ensured over the disputed re-election of the longtime president, and Ethiopia, where political unrest has degenerated into armed conflict. Within mm. the United States, no journalists were jailed at the time of CPJ prison oh, okay. census. Okay. Exactly. Wait, I, but, can, I can name two yeah, of them. No? Julian Wait. Assange yeah, Julian Assange and Edward Snowden yeah, immediately. Like, right. But an unprecedented 110 journalists were arrested or criminally charged in 2020. And around 300 were assaulted, the majority by law enforcement, according to the U.S. Press Freedom Tracker. Mm. So, interesting. journalists, yeah. is it a good time to be a journalist or is it a bad time to be a journalist or is it just where you live? Dude, one, we need journalists. We don't have journalists anymore. We have political operatives that write for periodicals. We need actual people that are fact finders, that are that are intellectually curious, that are uh, politically agnostic, or at least professional enough to keep their, their bias uh, to their side and be objective in their reporting. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest problems that we have right now in the country, and I would imagine in the world, is we cannot operate on the same reality. Yes. Depending on where you're getting your information, mm -hmm. you have a completely different understanding of the reality that we are living in. And it goes back to what you were talking about, the left versus the right. I ascribe to something called the horseshoe theory. I don't know if you can pull that oh, yeah, The horseshoe right. theory, okay? It's, it's not left and right. Mm -hmm. It's the north and the south on the spectrum that matter more. The libertarian or the authoritarian. Mm -hmm. If you you're conservative of your ideas, that's fine, as long as there's no authoritarianism behind it. You don't force me into your conservative ideas, Sharia law, whatever, fascism, all right? If you're to the left and you believe in equality, equity, and egalitarian society, okay, great, present it, and if it's a good idea, people will follow it. If you force people into it, if you seize their property, communism, okay? So the further left and right you go, the closer those ideologies are. Whoa. Okay. The further left, the further to the left you get away from the center, the further to the right you get away from the center, the closer they are. Mm -hmm. Communists and Nazis are much closer to each other than people in the center of the spectrum. People either to the right of center or to the left of center have more in common. Okay. So that's what I ascribe to. And what we have now is we have people who are making it, they're justifying bad behavior. If anybody's ever read uh, Alexander Stolzhenitsyn, the, the Gulag Archipelago, Ooh, he talked, book. It's, it's the most important, you talk about a hero, that book literally changed my life. It's mm. a very dense book, that book changed my life. Because he talks about how quickly it changes. And as soon as good men don't act, evil wins every mm -hmm. single day. And all that happens is it's, well, that journalist was, well, that, that journalist was a bad guy. Well, well he deserves it. Or, or, well, you know, he shouldn't have written that. He knew with the rules why mm. why what is so wrong with this guy writing something that you don't want the world to hear let the world hear it and let yeah. the let the ideas play out you're repressing these people the, the, it doesn't matter what your ideology is mm -hmm. it could have been christianity in the 1600s it could have been uh imperialism it could have been communism whatever it is as soon as you become authoritarian in the nature you are in mm -hmm. the wrong it doesn't matter left or right mm -hmm. the problem is the problem is that well, firstly, some people would disagree with that last sentence, which is part of the problem, right? Because some people are very authoritarian. We've really seen that come to light in the past year and a half. They really do. Um, they love authority. Yeah. And the another big problem is that a lot of people just don't actually have solid principles, right? And having principles means sometimes you have to defend people and ideas you don't like, or at least the ability for them to be presented out there and be presented. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I think, <laughs> I think AOC has terrible ideas. I think like, you know, I, I, I think a lot of ideas are terrible, but I would never want, you know, someone to be censored. So like, look at, look, okay. Look at the response to, uh, gosh, I mean, I think people still downplay how significant this is. I mean, your sitting president got deplatformed from all of social media back in January. It's insane insane right and people what's why how do people justify i don't like i don't like trump 
right? People let their emotions and their feelings because mm -hmm. they're not principled, right? A principled person, even if you despise Trump, you can be like, I despise Trump. I think he's this. I think he's that. But he should be not not just because he's the president, but, you know, we're a free country. He should be allowed to express his ideas. He didn't break the law. He didn't. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there there's that. But because people allow like their personal biases and their feelings towards things to determine who should be allowed to speak or what degree or whatever, that that's always a problem because then, mm -hmm. you know, people have different ideas and ideologies and belief systems. And as soon as you try to, like you said, when you try to force that on other people, mm -hmm. that becomes the issue. It's the same. You know, people understand it, I think, quite well with religion. OK, so, you know, I'm a Christian. Some people are Muslim. Some people are atheists, Jewish, et cetera. There's lots and lots of different religions and belief systems. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can espouse your belief. You can believe what you want, et cetera. If I, you know, get on a horse and holding a Bible in one hand and a sword in the other and I start want to go on some crusade to start, you know, converting non-believers, I think people be like, no, you can't do that. Right? If I want to strap mm -hmm. myself with a suicide vest and start blowing people up, crashing planes into buildings, whatever, supposedly to spread that that's that's the problem. Right. That's that's mm -hmm. the line. So you can believe you can believe what you want. But if you're trying to force other people to believe what you believe based mm -hmm. on force, that's the problem. It doesn't matter if it's political, if it's religious, whatever. About a year ago, when this whole thing's taking place, a year and a half ago, I went up and I said, uh, okay, how are parents judged? Parents are judged based on what? Providing what? A roof over your head, you know, mm -hmm. feeding you, taking care of you. But you they're know, also judged on the behavior of your children, right? The behavior of your children, mm -hmm. how your kids react in school. Okay, great. How is a... How is a coach for a basketball team or football team judged? Whether they win or lose. Whether you win or yeah. lose, you know, performance. playoffs, performance, getting better, all mm -hmm. of that. Okay. How is a coach of a college football team judged? How you, recruit, the parents wanting recruit, you to, wanting yeah. to recruit, all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. How is a president judged? How is a CEO of a company judged? How is a salesperson judged? Every one of us is judged. This yes. podcast is judged based on what? If we lose viewers, what they're saying is, we don't like your topic. Yeah. I'm going to another one. Screw you. Great. We're judged nonstop as you run a podcast. Valuetainment is judged. If we don't do well, we don't grow up. The topic's not good. You do a podcast. If you don't give viewers, they don't like it. You yeah. did great. Deal. You do a video, gets 4 million views on Twitter. Guess what? Right. The audience saying, hey, Zuby, do more of these things. Mm -hmm. We want to hear from you, right? We're constantly judged. However, how are journalists judged? So I found this article, and this article is Society of Professional Journalists, okay? How they're judged is based on four things. Seek truth and report it. Go to the next one. <laughs> Minimize harm, okay? Act independently, oh oh. be accountable, and transparent. Oh <laughs> that is the code <laughs> of journalism. Go up. Let me read a Straight few up. of them. Go all the way up. Go all the way up, Kai. And let me read some of these things here. So let's look at the first one here. Seek truth and report on it. Journalists should take responsibility for the accuracy of their work, ver verify information before releasing it, Okay, that would have already eliminated 80% of <laughs> dossier stories. <laughs> we have an insider that's telling us, un, un, what is the word they use? Unnamed un, sources. Unnamed sources that Adam, told us it's a... Adam Schiff, I've yeah, got names. Use original sources whenever possible. Remember that neither speed nor format excuses inaccuracy. Oh boy, Twitter. <laughs> Provide context, take special care not to misrepresent or oversimplify in promoting, previewing, or summarizing oh a story. Oh my headlines. Gather, update, and correct information throughout the life of a new story. Gather, update, and correct, right? Be cautious when making promises, but keep the promises they make. So far, <laughs> so far, is anybody doing, left, right, or middle, it, it, is anybody doing this every, right now? Every single so value tainer needs to take let me, this. Let me, let me continue. To We're going to put the link for everybody to yeah. see this here. Okay, so next, identify source clearly. The public is entitled to as much information as possible to judge the reliability and motivations of sources. Next, consider sources' motives before promising anonymity. Reserve anonymity for, res for sources who may face danger, retribution, or other harm. Fine. Diligently seek subjects of news coverage to allow them to correspond to criticism or allegations of wrongdoing. Avoid undercover or other... Uh, surreptitious methods of gathering information unless traditional open methods will not yield information value to the public. And you see how this is going, this right? Okay, go insane. to the next one. Let me read the next one here. Avoid stereotyping. Go a little bit higher. Avoid stereotyping. Journalists should examine the ways their value experiences may shift. Their Never plagiarize. Always attribute. Okay, so that's that part. Minimize harm. No, no, go up, go up, go up. This is the most important one. Label advocacy and commentary. Mm -hmm. Label advocacy and commentary. What does that mean to you? That means stop presenting your opinion as fact. Facts. Yep. Okay, minimize harm. 
Balance the public's need for information against potential harm or discomfort. Pursuit of the news is not a license for arrogance or undue intrusiveness. So 80% this of them are nuts. fired. Okay, 80% of them are fired. Okay, show compassion for those who may be affected by news coverage. Okay, <laughs> use heightened sensitivity when dealing with juveniles, victims of sex crimes, and source of subjects who are inexperienced or unable to give consent. Fine. Recognize that legal access to information differs from an ethical justification to publish or, publish or broadcast. Avoid pandering to lurid curiosity, oh even God. if others do it. You, you realize none of this stuff, I, this is what they're held accountable to and how they're judged. I immediately go to the kid wearing the MAGA hat who, who got painted as Destroyed. A, yeah. yeah, and they, they sued him. They won, by the way. In front of the Keep Native going up. American. Act <laughs> independently. Kai, go up. Act independent. Avoid conflicts of interest, real or perceived. Disclose unavoidable conflicts. Refuse gifts, favors, fees, free travel, right. and special treatment. Mm -hmm. Be wary of sources offering information for favors or money. Deny favored treatment to advertisers. Okay, that definitely doesn't <laughs> happen, right? Well, that goes okay. into your next story about the CCP and New York yeah, Times. Yeah, let me continue here on the last one, then we'll go into that story. Explain ethical choices and process for, to audiences. Respond quickly to questions about accuracy, clarity, or, and fairness. Acknowledge mistakes and correct them promptly. Expose unethical conduct in journalism, including within their organization. Abide by the same high standards they expect of others. Ouch. By the way, that's journalism, okay? From 1926. Oh boy. Lots changed in 95 years. years later. Lots mm. changed in 95 years. So when you go and talk about journalists, maybe some of this stuff. And by the way, on some of the countries you're talking about, like China, you know, you, Turkey, you know, Saudi Arabia or yeah. some of the countries that they're talking about, look, that's silencing is what they're trying to do. When you go and talk about the government, you cannot do that. In America, you get a raise if you do that, right, if you call on out the government. However, that's journalism. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.